Hello again, and welcome back to Medieval 2. So, we found a mummy-like girl back in the museum. And now we're going to have to go to the, I believe, the freak show to see what other area is surrounding us. So, yeah. Let's just see what our next mission is. And I just wish this hand would stop following me. There it is, the freak show. The freak show. It contains some weird specimens at the best of times. Heaven knows what's going on there now. Creep in round the back to avoid being spotted. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. So yeah, this is gonna be a pretty interesting level, even though it doesn't have nothing to do whatsoever with middle age or medieval or whatever well yeah we're gonna go in there and before we do so make sure you leave a like comment down below and subscribe and be sure to press the notification bell to be notified and my goal is to reach 100 subscriber so with that out of the way into the freak show Okay, there is some fat bearded lady here and there. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to talk to Winston over here, see what this is about. Man, without a ringmaster, the imps are going crazy! They're up to something, but I don't know what. I guess I will. Let me just switch my weapon and use, actually let me use the hammer of Thor, much interesting than a sword. And there's the life health thing. They're not actually demons or anything, some from the dead, but they are freaks. Okay, they're pretty damn easy to defeat, crushing with a hammer. And try to be careful because these fat lady will just push you off the water. But it's pretty simple. area first before do so. I guess this will have to go. And there's a magician summoning a Chinese dragon. So similar to the necromancer you're gonna have to shoot the I mean hit the wizard when he's not invisible. Just try to dodge him and his dragon. Simple, right? Mm. Actually, this is just... But this is just me or this kind of reminds me of something. I can't put my finger what. Uh, we got one of those imps thing again. This stupid camera though. Oh, we found ourselves another life bar thing. I'm gonna make this count though.
Uh, I'm not going to risk it. I already did. It's nice and slow. There we go. I'm going to have to go back in and refill my life bottle. Okay. <laughs> oh, I know. I know exactly what it reminds me of. Carnival. The arcade shooter with all the... An evil carnival. I mean, that kind of feels similar to that. I'm gonna have to go back that area where I kill that magician. Even this giant mouth thing looks similar to the one in Carnival. The gates. Alright, let's go. Let me see where this leaves me. these ends with this. There we go. And I got myself a little belt thing, so a little midway game wouldn't hurt. Can I only do it once, or... I guess I can do it only once, then. And there's the... Pumpkin juice. Okay, based on that poster, I'm... Thinking that there's going to be a... Returning enemy soon. Thanks for reminding me then. Okay, that's good. Now where? And there's nothing here actually. Oh, there's something in there. Just a spiff. I'm good. Nothing. And just nothing. All right, let's go. And it looks like I need a elephant key. Let's see where else. Oh, there's a room in here. And it looks like I entered a mini game. Let's see. Kill eight imps. Got it. more than a simple mini game. Well done, you hit the level to start the next... What is that? Oh, chicken drumstick. Nice. I could just turn these imps into chicken and eat them. Ten imps now. Hmm. 
Okay, this is getting difficult. this time. Twelve. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Just hit him. Alright, this is pretty hard. I'll just come back for it later. Let me try this room. Party room. Now this is the necromancer. I mean, the magician guy again. Took care of him, now what? Oh. And there's another room, so let's see what that is. Okay, we're gonna have to stop those imp. First, we're gonna have to um, take care of these guys. More imps in the way. Somehow this sounds very... F those things are making those sounds sounds familiar to the Ewoks from Star Wars. There's the chalice. Oh. 
as well as the giant elephant robot thing that Winston was mentioning. I don't know where I have to go, but it's certainly not here, at least not yet. Excuse me. All right, that's a bit trippy. Yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, we have ourselves the um, mini boss fight, and it's the mechanical elephant. Okay, let me just get my gun out. Very similar to the um, giant robot scarecrow thing from the previous game. You're gonna have to shoot it behind it. Elephant keys now. So let's get out of here. Let's see where else I should go now. There's got to be another imp around here. Up and down. And there's more of these imps swimming in there. Water. Nice and slow. Great, now I'm gonna have to start over again. And looks like more imps are following me. Try this again. Three. There we go. that last key I'm looking. Oh, I think this is it. Another boss fight with the elephant. Mini boss. Found our last elephant key, so let's try to 
find something to refill our health and get the chalice. Now let's refill our health. Let's see. I wonder if I can try to do more of these midway games. Back to the other room and finish what I'm supposed to. Or I could just find the shield. There's one. And two. We're not going to be doing that just yet. I'm going to see if we can try to find... And see if we can do this thing again. Twelve imps. the imps are whatever. Eh, let me check something real quick. 30 drumsticks, so I guess I'm good for now. Now on to the area. Mm. Of course, more of these imps are here. Just gonna keep coming no matter how much, how many times I destroy them. Mm. Yeah, luckily I got this. Into the big tent, big top. I'm getting that wrong. Two device hanging on in the tent. And I got myself a shield. So in this part, I'm guessing you're gonna have to lower the elephant in this thing and hit it in the right time, so. Did I do it right? I think I did. I don't know. We're gonna have to try to um, do it at the right time. There we go. Let me just switch to my sword, make things better.
Take your sweet time, Dumbo. Alright, I messed up in that part, so I'm gonna start over again. Okay, now we can do the last one. Hopefully that'll work. Do the trick. And it did. And looks like the gate is already open. So now we can go back to where we came from and put this all behind. Come to think of it, this is this area does remind me of this. The, the freak show area does remind me a lot like Carnival, especially in one segment in the level, which is actually the freak show itself. check before I go okay that's everything so looks like this is the last place I should go or this is the exit well that was pretty much a quick place or mission whatever so let's go see the professor and see what's going on there he is along with the mummy girl actually it kind of reminds me of something uh, Dan kind of reminds me a lot like Jack Skeleton and the mummy from Sa Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. Alright, let's just see what he wants. Dad, you're back! Fantastic! Loads to tell you. I've analyzed the watch you found, and I think I know who is behind this madness. Who? Oh. The name of our enemy is Lord Palethorn. He tried to gain respectability by joining the Magician's Circle, but they expelled him after he began to experiment with black magic. Frightful, frightful man. As far as we can see, the whole city has fallen under his wicked spell. Every dead soul in London is walking the streets, and a host of other demons have arrived to plague us. Here we go again. Not all bad news, though. This young... this lady is none other than Kia, 91st consort of Ramesses himself. I've been looking at a little reading. And let me tell you, you might feel old, but she's positively ancient. No offense. You were the one who freed me from my eternal prison? Great warrior, I salute thee. I am forever in your debt. Right, introduction's over. On with the show. <laughs> Alright, so that mummy girl is named Kia. And we already know who's behind this. Somebody by the name of Lord Palethorn, who opened the using the Zarok Sparrow book to release evil once again and summon me again. But enough said, let's go get our chalice and see what weapon we get. Lovely, isn't she? The crossbow. And we got ourselves the crossbow, which is from the last game. And it looks like that was a pretty quick mission and all that. So it looks like we're going to have to stop here for now. So thank you again for watching my video. And like always, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and press the notification bell. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.